guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun, silly video for you guys. As you can see, I'm not really showing yet. These are my normal clothes, normal leggings. They just have a lot of stretch. I have gained about 10 to 12 pounds in my first trimester. I, and I have like a little bit of a belly. I don't know if you could see it, but not enough to be wearing pregnancy clothes. However, when I discovered I was pregnant and I did not fit into my jeans anymore, I'm in that weird in-between phase, I had to get new jeans, but also I just thought it would be fun to get some maternity clothes. So I decided after trying them on and laughing hysterically because I don't fill them in yet, it would be so fun to do a video now for you guys to laugh with me, but also I can do another one later when I have my bump so we can compare. So I don't know if you could see, but in the doorway behind me, I have a whole bunch of the clothes that I did purchase that I'm gonna try on for you guys. And we're just gonna have a fun, silly laughing video together because who can't use some extra laughs ever, but especially nowadays. So if you're interested in laughing with me and trying on some maternity clothes when I barely have a baby bump, then please keep watching. Here are a pair of pregnancy leggings that I bought when I was flying to New Jersey. Here's a little story time. The day before, I was wearing my normal exercise leggings. In fact, they're a size medium, and I have them in both size medium and smalls, just depending on what was in the store. When I would go visit Adam before he came home, I would have to drive past outlets, and I would always stop at the New Balance store because I was able to get they're really good workout leggings. They stay up, they're supportive, they're just enough compression, but not too much. And I would always get them on sale. So if they had smalls, I could fit into them. Mediums fit me a little bit better, but just depending on what they had. Anyway, I was wearing my mediums. My smalls were still fitting me, but he said that they were see-through. And he was so funny because he waited until afterwards and I'm like, these are the things that you need to tell me, like how much of the JJ was showing. And he was like, I mean, you can see everything. And I'm like, what's everything? Like, did you see thong? Did you see the whole like camel? Like what was going on? I ordered these the very moment he told me, but what I didn't realize was they were just old. <laughs> they weren't too tight. They were see-through because they've just been worn and washed too many times. We ordered these, but they're fitting me a little bit better now than they did in December when I was only nine weeks. But still, you could see that there is plenty of room in these puppies. I could probably start wearing them very soon, but when I wore them on the plane, I just had to roll them down like that. But it was funny because they got to the point where <laughs> they felt like they were falling off. I have to say though, I'm gonna link them in the comments below because they are the most buttery soft leggings that I've ever worn in my entire life and there is a lot of stretch and I know that I'll be able to wear these as my bump grows but then also after I have the baby when I still have you know some weight on me and some bump and all of that fun stuff that nobody tells you about until you start researching when you get yourself pregnant okay okay so here's this little skirt it's this little asymmetric deal so I figured it would kind of flatter me a little bit what's interesting is I bought these Got them in the mail about two weeks ago. Got the idea to make this video and just haven't had time to do it. So in fact, it's there's room, of course. It's saggy and everything, but I've grown into this. I can't believe how much belly I've gotten, which is nothing, but I've gotten a little bit because it's, it's a little tighter than it was before. But I love when things are form-fitted and you can see like the cute little round baby bump. So that's the look that I was going for. I think that this is really cute. There's some ruching on the side, but we got a ways to grow. This skirt is my favorite of this whole entire haul. I want to recreate the most adorable, like high-waisted maxi skirt, fitted maxi skirt situation with, for me, when my belly's big, it'll be summer. So with a t-shirt or tank top tied up or even like a crop top that you can't tell is a crop top, recreate the Desi Perkins or Carly Bible looks. I'll put their pictures here that inspire this but I love this skirt. It's got ruching here. It's got ruching in the back. Can you see it? And there's so much room for my bump to grow into it. It's actually thick material and way better quality than I thought that it might have been better for me to get it in a smaller size and start wearing it now because it's still a little bit chillier out because it might even be a little bit too thick to wear in the heat 
of the summer in Las Vegas, but I'll definitely get use out of this. And I love that it's ruched so you could dress it up, you could dress it down, you could do a lot with it. But right now, the only thing I could do with it is look like I'm playing in mommy's closet. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but it does have a slit, a slit too. So if you wear it up like this, you can make it a little sexy. These are my very first pair of maternity jeans. I actually am obsessed with them. So they have pockets in the back. They have this paneling for me to grow into. The funny thing is that I don't have enough of a belly yet, so they fall down on me. I have to like constantly throughout the day when I'm wearing them, pull them up because this belly, when it fills it in, will hold them up. But I don't have that. I don't, I don't have much going on right now. The other thing is I've been wearing them. Let's get closer so I could show you. You could see that there are, I don't, I hope you could see, there's little pockets right sewn in so it looks like jeans but i've been wearing them as if they're high-waisted jeans with shirts tucked in i'm just obsessed with the high-waisted trend i love it but i know that's not the way you're supposed to wear this elastic panel i think it could look funny i was telling adam that yesterday and he was like i think it looks fine and i said yeah but that's because you can't they're black and you can't really see that the pockets are sewn in down here i mean they're closed pockets but they're supposed to look like pockets so when I get a pair of blue jeans or they have them in like a lighter washed gray that I think they're adorable, you're gonna be able to see that. So I didn't know what to do until I was watching a maternity clothing haul. I think it was Sierra Schutz or Schultz. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she got maternity jeans where the paneling was on the side. The elastic was on the side so that you can wear shirts tucked in because for me personally, I'm petite. And once I get my belly wearing shirts out, it's not flattering on my body. It's never been flattering on my body because I am short. I have a really long waist and really short legs. So the fact that I'd be able to tuck shirts in, priceless. I will look for those once we make the video, the actual video when I have a belly, then I'll show you that too. I had a real bra on before, but I wanted to show you guys the waistbands of the skirts so you could see. It's funnier if you could actually see the waistbands. So let's just pull this down because I'm being lazy and I don't feel like going to put my bra back on. So this I think is adorable. I saw this outfit here, recreated the whole thing. I guess I could go get the shoes. This has been like a staple go-to. This is a maternity shirt. There is room to grow into it. Only issue I foresee is as I grow, this is gonna get shorter. So that's not gonna be the most fun, but this has been a staple outfit that I've gone to a couple of times. I throw on a necklace. I feel sexy, I feel put together, which I do not feel very often nowadays. The other night I wore this out to dinner with a really good friend. So I put on a pair of boots, put on a pair of heeled boots. Actually, there's a story time coming with the next outfit about the boots that I put on first, which are now in the back of my car going to the dumpster. Hang on one second. But so fun, great outfit. I feel cute. I feel like I can grow into this and it's winter. I decided I needed a dress. I will probably need more dresses. I will probably live in dresses, except I am no dummy. I know as I grow, I will have to wear bike shorts under my dresses. However, this one is so, so super cute. I figured if I needed something as my belly grew to feel comfortable in, to feel cute in, and I also think that it would look really cute when I have more of a belly to belt this. Let me ask you guys a question. Her Gucci belt's out. I just saw the other day, now this is totally a Gucci replica, like faux Gucci belt. I got it from Amazon years ago. They don't sell them anymore. I'd link it for you guys, but it's a little too big up there. But I think that'd be so cute with a baby bump. I have to take it off because it's gonna fall off. Here's the story of the boots while I put these on. The other night we were going out to dinner and I put on my over the knee boots that I brought back from New Jersey. Well, they did not travel well and they were cheap. Next thing I knew, I put them on to go out to dinner and I'm running out the door because we're late. And all of a sudden I was like, my boots look like they've been through a garbage disposal. So I grabbed another pair of boots and I threw those in the back seat, changed in the car. Adam's laughing at me because I'm doing like the cheerleader change in the car. I saw these the other day on sale. Express was having a 40% off sale and I had a coupon. I had some points because I had shopped there over Christmas for gifts or something like that. I don't remember. But I got these and I was like, oh, they look kind of small. But what I didn't realize was they're elastic in the back. So for you girls that have thicker legs, muscular legs, and a lot of boots don't fit you, these were great. They were $95 and I wound up getting them for $32 and free shipping. So there's that. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to wear these what I want to wear them with. Can wear them a couple of different ways. 
with a lower boot, like a booty, maybe with some tights. Or, you know, you want to be a little sexy. Maybe we're going out for Valentine's Day. You can belt this up a little bit and go a little sexier with the over knee boot. I kind of like that a lot too. There is my very first pregnancy dress. I've got a lot of room to grow and I can also wear this next fall. Like let's say Thanksgiving when I'm just three or four months postpartum, this would be a lifesaver because I'm still going to have some weight on me. So this was the outfit that I was most excited about and unfortunately I'm the most disappointed about. This is not maternity. I was watching not maternity clothes for pregnant women, like how you can kind of hack that whole trend. And this girl looked adorable wearing this exact outfit. She had her bump out. It was so, so cute. She also had the long cardigan on over it. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Her outfit was white. They didn't have this in white for me. They didn't have my size. So I thought the crop top and the bottoms were from Pretty Little Things. They didn't have a cardigan. So I got the matching cardigan or as matching as close as I could from Amazon. But when I tried these on the other day, I got these in a large and normally I'm a small or a medium. These kind of fit me now. The waistband is really, really tight. So there's really not much room for my bump to grow at all a bit i guess if i wanted to pull them up but that would have camel toe this band was actually tighter the other day so i guess i was just more bloated the other day but there's not much room for me to grow maybe i could get away with this top Ooh, this top with this skirt would be so cute so it's not a fail this top with this skirt would be so cute with like a pair of sneakers or something pants are really really long that's not a big deal you can hem them but i would not be able to get away with showing my belly like that, that would not work when I have a belly. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them over the belly when I have a belly because they're already tight. Like I feel like I can't breathe and pulled up. There is a full blown camel in this room. So I'll probably wear them around the house now just to like lounge, you know, because it's still cute. And even as I get a little bit more of a belly, that'll be okay. This shirt is like super flattering. So as my rib cage expands, I don't know how much more use I'll get out of this, but highly disappointed because this outfit just looked absolutely adorable on the girl that I saw it on, but I just didn't get the right size. I probably should have gotten like an XXL if I wanted to wear it pregnant, pregnant, but I could also wear this after baby, right? I don't know. You guys tell me. I loved it on her with the cardigan. I don't necessarily know if I love it with this cardigan because well, in person, in like in real life, it matches so much more. On camera, it's showing way different. This looks so much lighter than this. So I don't know that I love it. You guys tell me, could I wear this out or is it just a fail? I'm not gonna return it. This top and bottom together was $17 and it took three weeks to get here from London. So I think that it'll cost me more to ship it back. So I don't know, we'll make do, even if I sleep in it, it's comfy. And the cardigan I wear all the time. It was not that big of a deal. So that's all the fun that I have for you guys today. If you are interested in my first trimester recap, today I'm 13 weeks and four days or something like that, click that video right there. If you are not already subscribed, I would love if you join the family, just click that little circle there or the red box below. The pregnancy, issue of not being able to breathe is so real. I know you mommies can relate or mommies to be can relate. I love you guys with my whole heart and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.